Welcome back to the second video in this series. I am still quite new to this hobby, and I am continuously learning new things as I observe the life within the glass box. This is not going to be an in-depth care guide, but a short look into my beginner's thoughts and experiences on the pets that I am keeping. Today's video is on bamboo shrimps. Though I like calling them bamboo shrimps, they go by many names, being sold as rock shrimp locally, but they are also known as wood shrimp, flower shrimp, fan shrimp, and Asian filter feeding shrimp, among others. The bamboo shrimp fascinated me from first sight, and can be blamed for my introduction to shrimp and the aquarium hobby in the first place. I was fascinated by the way these shrimp were grabbing at the water column with their fan hands and had to have one. I currently have two myself, though that is something I'm going to come back to. The bamboo shrimp is very peaceful, and seems to work in most peaceful community tanks. However, with the way they eat, I would avoid keeping them in very low or no flow setups. They can be kept together or solo, and don't seem to mind either way. I have mine currently living with some ember tetra and a neocaridina colony, and another with the harlequin rasboras. In my experiences, they have a wide range of personalities, from somewhat skittish and more nocturnal, to adventurous and exploring all corners of the tank, to just not caring about anything around them but the flow. They really are gentle giants. Bamboo shrimp have no claws. Instead, they have a set of four fans which work on a sort of hinge, so they can open them up to the current and catch food, which they then shove in their mouth. Because of this, larger setups are generally better, having more suspended food in the column. It's fun watching when they decide to groom through the substrate for any dropped giddies as they bulldoze their way through things, including the smaller shrimp. Most of the time is spent filtering food from the water column though, and they can get into some pretty funny positions to do so. As a beginner into this hobby, I was a little worried about keeping bamboo shrimp fed, but I have yet to run into any issues with this, even in a somewhat newly established planted tank. I do occasionally feed shrimp pellets and hikari algae wafers, which the bamboo shrimp seem to love, but most of the time they seem happy eating detritus as well as crushed up fish flake and pellet that gets caught in the current. Most of these shrimp will be pale or even grey when you see them at the store, but once they are in a setup they are more comfortable in, they seem to change colour quite drastically, usually to brown, but some more orange or red than others. They also have a cool racing stripe down their back. This can be used as a general measurement of their mood and health, with the stripes going pale or even almost disappearing when stressed, all the way to solid creamy white when they are happy. As far as size goes, most I have seen were about 4 to 5 centimeters not including antenna, with my largest being about 6 centimeters. I feel this is about average, but I expect they will continue growing slightly larger as time passes. My bamboo shrimps are all female, with the easiest way to tell being the first set of legs. Females will have three sets of all similar sized legs, while males have a larger first set of legs that also have small hooks on them that are used to hold females while mating. Unfortunately, I will not be trying to breed these shrimp as they hatch their eggs into a larval state that needs brackish water for the first part of their lives. Going back to when I said I have two. Technically there's a third living with a beta, but those aren't mine. But that brings my total to five. These things are escape artists. I've had two escape on me with a lidded tank. I have resorted to taping crevices closed and cleaning plastic over openings to keep them in. I thought I had lost my newest one once as well, and after looking everywhere, I found her in the hang on back filter. If you are looking to keep bamboo shrimp, make sure you're prepared for escape attempts. You should also expect bamboo shrimps to molt every couple months, with younger ones molting more often. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of this as they usually molt first thing in the morning or overnight, and I then remove the molts within 24 hours. Some shrimp will eat their molt, but mine usually don't bother. Thanks to their neat coloration and stripe, and their peaceful personality, the bamboo shrimp is easily one of my favorite aquatic invertebrates, and easily gets my recommendation for any peaceful tank as a small but fascinating point of interest that is a joy to watch. That's it for today's video on bamboo shrimp. Do you have experiences with these shrimps? If so, leave a comment below, 
and there's more videos like this on the way, so why not consider subscribing? And as always, thanks for watching, and have a shrimp-tacular day.